Hello everyone, and uh, welcome to, uh, to a new video. And today I'm just gonna I'm gonna start a let's play of this game called Cyber City 20, 2157. And <clears throat> basically, what this is, it's um, it's kind of um, an obscure uh, cyberpunk visual novel that basically explores like life in a city where the where the sun never sets. It's 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 very artistic, and I I, I, I I couldn't find any like well, I found like one let's play of this on YouTube. I I think that this game needs um, more recognition because it's actually kind of a kind of a beautiful game. Like graphically, like it, it's not it's not beautiful, but I like I like how it looks. So yeah. New game. I'm gonna I'm gonna narrate this. Insert the first cassette. Where are we? Who are we? Look around. What do you see? There is a spaceport in the middle of the desert, and nothing else for many kilometers around, except maybe a few tumbleweeds. I don't hear any sound. It's the perfect stillness of the desert, but it gives me no clue what's happening around. I see the rocket, ready for launch, and it seems like there isn't much time before the start. How did we get here? I don't remember. Does it matter now? Everybody, get ready. We have liftoff. Who are these people? They sound like they are near us. Can you see them? No, I think they are in this building, which is on the edge of the desert. Three, two, one. Start of the lifting engines. What what a sound! It was deafening. It would not be funny to lose my hearing. Can you warn me next time, moron? I thought it would be funny to scare you a little. Don't be angry. Instead, listen to what I'm going to tell you. Come on. But don't think that'll forgive you so easily. So ba basically right now, uh if you if you can see like we're I'm I'm just talking to myself. Rockets are rising and leaving clouds of dust, covering the whole desert with it. Oops, dust dust has covered my eyesight. The first stage is, is, is successful. We are gaining altitude. Every member of the team should focus. The rocket is accelerating. It's tearing clouds. Amazingly, how can this heavy thing fly? It is not just a heavy pile of metal. It is a high-tech invention. If you were wiser, perhaps, you could understand. Maybe I'm not very smart, but I'm not as boring as you are. Oh, the image starts to fade, replaced by another one. Wait, wait, crap. <laughs> I went to the saves space. Then a new picture appears. The ship entered Earth's orbit. We are so high. It is a wonderful sight of our old planet. What a pity you can't see it. Sometimes, you are so annoying, but I need to get along with it for a while. Although... Oh, why are you so serious? It hurts me. You are so angry, my elder brother. Orbital ejection has been successful. Stabilization of the ship has been has completed. Ready for general mission. Do you hear us, team? Yes, center. There is a small signal lag, but I hear you. Ready to dispatch the general mission. Something's wrong. Antennas are not uh, de deployed. Stop. How do you know that? You could not see it without me. I just know that. But I won't tell you how. Your behavior is too bad, younger brother. Center, we have a problem. Antennas have not opened. We tried to run them from the backup unit, but it was unsuccessful. Damn it. Wait a bit. We'll look at the indicators on our screens. There's something strange near the antenna. Something like a shadow. It's over. It's disappeared. All indicators and ship's systems are normal. You need to get out and, ex and inspect the ship. There is no other way to solve this problem. The system is calculated. The success probability for the solution is at, is at 87 out of 100. Affirmative. I'm moving out. The hatch opens. The figure of an astronaut, tiny compared with the ship, and invisible contrast constructed with the Earth, has fallen from it. How symbolic it is. I'm shivering. Don't shiver. 
I'm shivering with you, in case you forgot. Egress has been perfect. There were no problems. I'm moving to the antennas. The figure starts moving, clinging to the protrusion of the spacecraft on the skin like a little space monkey. How cute and stupid can you be at the same time? I've reached the antennas, starting inspection. You shouldn't... Wait, you shouldn't to be here. Go away. Run, before it is too late. Center. I hear voices. Something is wrong over here. I will continue to dispatch the mission. Check the equipment. Oh, I, I love how he's called Little Space Monkey. <laughs> that's, that's a funny touch. Repeat. I can't hear you. What an unpleasant voice. It doesn't forecast anything good. Has he disobeyed him? Yes. I don't understand. Where did the voices come from? There is no one around us. Only space. Center. Alert. My hands are sliding. I'm losing contact with the ship. I can't hold it. It's as if the wind blows here. But it is absolutely impossible. What the hell is going on here? Can you hear me? Center. I have lost contact with the ship. Why didn't you listen to us? Why didn't you listen to us? Why didn't you listen, listen to us? The figure of an astronaut starts to move away. Like a blown plastic bag. Poor space monkey. Why does it always happen? The elder brother. These are these are another voices. They are not from here. These people do not don't understand what they are dealing with. Maybe you should stop talking in riddles, nerdy. Acura, Acura, get in touch. According to our data, you are drawn away from the ship. I, my hands, I fly away from the ship. Monkey is very sad and scared. What a pity. Heck, Acura, get a hold of yourself. We'll think up of something. While they are thinking, the form is moving further away from the ship, surrounded only by silence. Shh! I hear the rattle of metal. Center, antennas, antennas have opened. I did it. That's correct, antennas began to open. Remember how we were looking at the moon? Everything is over. Goodbye, younger brother. Stay well, old man. Sometimes you... I think that's the studio who, yeah, Haro Tobira presents. Cyber City, 2157. Am I awake now? What a strange dream I've seen today. Everything was so real, as if I had see seen it all with my own eyes. And what was the name of this cos of this mosca uh, <laughs> of this cosmonaut? Monkey. Sometimes we can really see, re we see we can see really funny things in our dreams or scary things. That is true. Antennas. Why did they deploy the antennas? I should understand the logic of my dreams. And all those see and all of those scenes. They are so familiar, if they're so familiar. Where could I have seen all this? Okay, it's time to get out of bed. My day begins pretty early. I check the mail and decide to continue to sleep or to get to work. Usually, I work by remote contracts. My last client was in, a, was in my own town. I haven't been told the name of the company, and all their activities are a mystery to me. My goal is to create a replica of the director's wife, for the holographic interface. It's fast and clean work. They don't want to fully deal with me by email. And this makes me work and this makes my work more complicated. Their reluctant their reluctance can be compared only with my reluctant reluctance to leave my, to leave the home. But I really need money. And there was no other work on the horizon. I didn't I didn't want to go back to the office. Colleagues, constant communication, bosses. These things scare me more than a problem with money. Although, who am I fooling? Now I work the same way. I cling with the last bit of strength to the image of a free man. I have, I have even remembered the, name of my colleague, the names of my colleagues. I should stop thinking about it. Not to feel dis disgusted with myself. System, activate the postal service. The screen began to move. Waves on the screen began shaping something like an image. The screen is old, and I prefer to use the voice interface. You have two new messages. Open them. Irony. 
the person who does the holographic moles can't afford a system for reproducing them. Open and read them aloud. Oh wait, wait, no, that that wasn't the robot voice. I, I'm gonna do the robot voice for the postal service, not the uh, voice in the head. Message first from A K S A K S C. Dear Cosmo Boy, we inform you that today it is necessary to come to our office according to the contract. We wait for you at the usual time. Your customer received 20 minutes 20 minutes ago. Customer executes all terms of the contract. It's perfect. Go to the next message. The second message from ISM. Remember how we looked at the moon received one minute ago. What nonsense. But these words sound familiar. As if I've heard, as if I heard them recently. Postal service. No, no, no. <laughs> Again, I, I, I'm confused with the voices. Postal service. Give me more information about the sender. This sender normally sends messages from within the system. I don't understand. Reference. Explain in detail. ISM. Internal system message. Messages does, it doesn't have an external sender. It was sent with the device you are using at the moment. If the message contains an error code, then move it to help topic corresponding to this error. If the message contains text, possibly your system has undergone external invasion. At the end of reference. Remember how we looked at the moon. I heard these words in my dream. An unusual coincidence. But how is this possible that somebody could, somebody could break into my system? I'll need to leave such an incomprehensible message. Maybe it's some kind of code. And another message will be sent with more information. Hackers may be planning something bad. It can cause me trouble. Postal service. Freeze the action with the second message. Error. The message with this number isn't detected. You have only one message from the sender. AKSC. Self-destructive message. Things are becoming more and more interesting. But I've got to get ready for work. I can be late. Or I will get a fine. I have to call customer service this evening. I hope they can explain something to me about my old system. Postal service. Report about the weather on the street and turn off. The temperature outside is plus 15 degrees. Sun is in the blue sector. Have a nice day. The system turns off and stops emitting at home. Yes, the morning starts quite strange. A bit of leftovers from the refrigerator for breakfast would be enough. Then I can go. Every day goes that way since I've started working for this company. In the morning, this feeling of infinite repetition of individual action looks absolutely crisp. The brain just woke up and is full of energy for these actions. And the brain starts to make plans for the day. Wake up. Stay in bed. Have breakfast. Take shower. Remember, it's time to go to work. Choose clothes for today. Leave the house. Every day, the pink light of the sun in the east covers the city and wakes the in inhabitants. People wake up and move to work like ants. They are ants, like me. I'm driven by my, by my needs to, to the places where I meet the needs of other people. Moles industry emerged just a few years ago, when the power of the systems became sufficient for processing. At first, the moles were a service for the rich and big companies, but gradually, they began to be used in the homes of ordinary people. Standard moles, moles are not expensive, but they require a fairly powerful system. Personal molds are difficult, are difficult to manufacture. The sun never sets, it just changes colors from one to another and attaches the entire life of the city to, the, to these colors. Blue sector, it's time to awake. Pink sector, pink sector, it's time to go to work. It's time to listen to people's conversations on the way to work. Time to look in the sky. Time to relax. When you create the mold, you need to collect all the data about the subject. The voice, behavior, movement. 
the most important thing is to create AI, which should be able to fully stimulate, simulate a human and hide all his disadvantage disadvantages. The voice, okay. <laughs> sorry. Speech defects, problems in appearance, cantankerous character, all this must be removed. It's necessary to add everything to the customer. To, to add everything the customer finds indispensable. It may be improved appearance or modified tone of voice. It should be the perfect copy, which is much better than the original. One color of the sun is replaced by another. Checkpoint passed. Time to reach the workplace. Time to work. Time to produce work. Time to talk with colleagues. They are already, they already think I'm I'm an equal with them. They are they gossip about the boss, talk about their families, they share with each other their successes and failures. Today, they especially talk about the news that they saw on TV yesterday. It was launched into orbit of a research ship. Objectives of the research are not specified, but after conversations, I understand that the company has is directly related to these studies. I wanted to know the details of their participation, but the workers stopped talking and changed to another topic when I approached them. I think they didn't accept me fully as a colleague, and they didn't want to violate company policy. And it goes that way in every company where I've worked. Nowhere did I really fit in with the team. And I, and I left as soon as my project ended. Sometimes, former colleagues wanted to contact me, even called. But I did not answer them. I didn't. I don't know why. My need for communication was minimal. The only the only thing that I was able to hear from their discussions is something connected with Frost, but it doesn't help me to get full information. To get off a, to get off the, the break, to spend a break, to think about spending an evening, to feel that today the sun is moving more slowly than usual, to get back to the workplace to entertain myself with food, to participate in the meeting, to talk with the customer. The bulk of the work has been done already. The artificial intelligence and the prototype of the outer shell has been made. The desire of the customer was unusual. He, didn't wa he did not want to change anything in the original object. He wanted a full copy of his wife. He wanted the copy without the, basi the basic ideal inherent of m to molds, the purpose for which it is necessary. He has not clarified beyond wh what was stipulated in the contract. We arranged a meeting with his wife tomorrow, and I, should, and I would start the, crea the creating and digitizing of her image. It would not be an easy task because the customer needed an exact copy. Wait, hold on a second. Why does this guy want to make a copy of his wife, like a perfect copy of his wife, if his wife is, 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 is like still alive? Is she gonna die? That's, that's weird. It will not be possible to work on a flaw for the improvement of the original object, as I usually did it. Anyways, the work is coming to an end. This task will not take much time. To dream about the end of the day. To stop working. To watch my colleagues leave their jobs. To say goodbye and to wish good evening to every one of them. To, to wait until the roads are free so as, not, uh, so as to not sit meaninglessly in a traffic jam. To dream. People say outside of the city there are times where there is no sun in the sky. Everything becomes dark as in the room with the closed door. But the sky does not remain empty. There is another circle in the sky. It's called the moon. In books I've read, it looks like a circle. While is it while it is in the sky, it radiates the same light. But I don't have anyone who would confirm or deny this statement. Those who were lucky enough to go outside the city don't have an opportunity to disclose what they have seen. Or maybe I don't know anyone who has been there. I was so intrigued by this topic that I found some old non-digital books devoted to this issue. Covers of the books not coincide with their contents. I get a feeling they have been protected from this somebody. Likely, it was connected with the cleaning of the, the source of the information held in the paper books. From these books, 
I learned there was something like the night in the city too, but it was before the incident. The concept of night was not described, so I have concluded that it was absolutely common, with no need to explain. I'm gonna drink some water, sorry. There was no explanation what the incident is. There was a very little information in the books, besides the fact that chronologically, it dates back to the early years. Both terms were not used even once in the digital books, that is true. I have created a modification of the system, which checked with each of these books. By the way, it is time to go home. To close the room, to go down the stairs, to say goodbye to security, to go outside, to decide how to spend the evening. Alright, I'm gonna um, stop here at this choice. Uh, if, if, you're, if you guys are watching to this point, uh, comment you guys would want me to do uh to go home or to go for a walk that's uh, it's up to you it's it's up to you to you guys the, the comments if you are watching this video if there are views i don't know maybe you left because my narration was bad Th this is the first time doing this and i you know i, I just I, I just came out of like um like um like a like a flu so, I, I'm probably bad at talking right now. And, and English isn't my first language, so there's that too. But I hope you enjoyed my narration. Uh, I, I enjoyed doing this. I, I enjoyed this game very much. I like, I like weird, artsy, sci-fi stuff. So, yeah. Have a nice day, or evening, or night. I don't know what time it is for you, viewer, but have a nice one. Thank you for watching.